Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about some interesting facts uh, about uh, fingerprints and dermatog uh, dermatoglyphics. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, discuss what is actually fingerprint and uh, what we call dermatoglyphics. Study of uh, papillary ridges, or we can say the fine, close set, evenly spaced lines which cover the whole palm of surface, including the fingers, are called dermatoglyphics. It has been a fascinating subject of, a sci of scientific research since the 17th century. <laughs> the results of research in this subject have uh, thrown new light on the evolutionary of human uh, history and also on forensic science and criminology in which inspired methods have been diverse of identifying individuals by their fingerprints. The papillary ridges crosses the palm in several directions and form a varying patterns on the eminences at the base of the fingers and in greater complications on the fingertips. Let's look at the concept of what is fingerprint. Fingerprint is an impression of the friction ridges of all or any part of the finger. Anatomically, the tiny line formations found on the epidermis of the hand have three purposes. They are act as a secretion channels for sweat, form a rough surface to aid gripping and form a wavy texture which heightened the stimulation of the nerve endings under the epidermis and facilitates the tactile sensitivity. Spellbound thing about these formation is their diversity. Not only whole of the hand, even the pattern on very small area is sufficiently to enable accurate identification. No two people have been found with the exact same print pattern or uh, we can say minutia, not even identical twins. Epidermal ridges are developed in the fetus by the 18th week, uh, week of pregnancy and individual patterns formation will remain unchanged for the life of an individual. However, the print itself may change due to the permanent scars and diseases. Dr. Cummins, Dr. Cummins is universally acknowledged as the father of dermatoglyphics. Dr. Cummins studies all the aspects of fingerprint analysis from anthropology to genetics. From, uh, from embryology to the study of malformed hands. Another use of dermatoglyphics has been in anthropology. Under this subject, primates hand and souls also being studied in these studies. We can identify biological traits of humans and other primates and it's widely used in anthropological, genetical and medical studies. In monkeys, palm and fingers are not functionally uh, separated from each other and sense of touch, which is keenest where the papillary ridges are most complex, is much more uh, spread than in men. The papillary ridges of a chimpanzee fingertips bear some resemble to those of a human being as been uh, shown by Dr. Cummings. And one more interesting, I want to tell you uh, that some of our human also having these uh, monkey features on their hands. But it is not uncommon that if one or two in monkey's hand, uh, that, that type of uh, signs uh, resemble in our human hand. But uh, if it is much more, I mean, if it is uh, more than eight or ten uh, signs, resembles in human hand, then the uh, actually human behaviors also uh, resemble the patterns of uh, monkeys. That's a funny thing. Okay, let's move on. When we come to discuss about fingerprint science, then it's basically built up with three main principles. Individuality, 
permanent and classifiable fingertips are unique to an individual even identical twins have different fingerprints in general the purpose of collecting fingerprints is to identify an individual the principle of individuality in fingerprint is strictly uh, manifested in the case of uh, identical twins which have different fingerprints then next is permanence permanence is the principle that a person's fingerprint remain essentially unchanged throughout their lifetime as new skin cells form they remain cemented in the ex uh, existing fr uh, friction ridge and uh, furrow patterns next classifiable fingerprints may look complicated but the fact is that they have general ridge patterns making it possible to uh, systematically classify them and that is the third fundamental principle of fingerprints fingerprints have three basic ridge patterns arch loop and whorl here you can see all the patterns and next fingerprints are used two distinct uh, but intertwined uh, aspects for personal identification and for criminal identification apart from these in an academic standpoint study of dermatographics can be used to identify uh, the human evolution or human personality behaviors and some medical uh, ailments fingerprint identification when we discuss about fingerprint identification it is also known as uh, dactyloscopy or handprint identification is the process of comparing two instance of friction ridge skin impressions from human fingers or toes or even the palm of the hand or sole of the foot to determine whether this impression could have come from the same contact fingerprint free, uh, fingerprint friction ridge details are generally described in a hierarchical order at three levels namely level 1 that means pattern identification level 2 which mean minutia points third level uh, we can say regioscopy or poroscopy then when we uh, discuss about these levels here you can see first level and second level marked clearly in this picture this is how level 1 and level 2 uh, we are using in bureaus and now i would like to share some interesting facts actually uh, i don't think that uh, some points you never think about that um, uh, about this dermatoglyphics or fingerprints uh, actually what they are doing what is the purpose of uh, these fingerprints so here i have added few interesting things rich skin uh, rich skin of the fingertips contain more nerve endings comparing to the palm also the places where deltas and triades are located those places are more sensitive than the other areas deltas can be seen on fingertips and triades can be seen on the base of the fingers actually this area and this area so one more interesting thing i just want to mention that uh, most of asians actually ladies especially ladies when they are cooking and if they want to just uh, taste uh, some uh, food then uh, if if the dish is warm then they just put in, inside the palm on the palm but middle of the palm not uh, just they are using fingertips to just taste just to uh, middle of the palm and just tasting like this so that is the reason that deltas and uh, triades are very few in this middle of the palm so warmness will not uh, that much affected so that's a practical thing and here uh, also this friction ridges the small small tiny lines 
uh, help to catch sound vibration in order to help you hearing. Your fingertip uh, inter uh, interpret motion vibration in order to uh, help you touch. Not only that, blind people, friction ridges are working like ice. In my uh, experience, when collecting uh, uh, handprints or fingerprints from a blind person or a deaf person or a, um, autistic child, then difficulties are coming because their friction ridge is too much sensitive and uh, sometimes we cannot uh, apply ink because they are uh, screaming because uh, they feel they feel like uh, we are putting sand onto their uh, in eyes so something like that uh, it's happening so i experience all these in my uh, research work the most interesting part is uh, fingerprints also used to diagnose uh, psychological issues too and um, here you can see uh, one more interesting thing in this slide actually uh, we can feel the sense of eyelash uh, you can see here in this slide uh, it is very small and tiny but we can feel that so that's also uh, one interesting thing that much of sensitivity we have in our fingerprints the most interesting part is the fingerprints also used to diagnose uh, psychological issues it has been found that people with unusual patterns of behaviors for instance autism manic depression Signophilia, excessive shyness, retardation, and alcoholism have all shown fingerprint profiles similar to other with like behaviors, but highly different from the general population. Apart from that, fingerprint patterns indicate human behaviors. It is in high degree of variation in human fingerprints that has permitted their use for purposes of identification. But so far, fingerprint experts have hardly touched the psychological implications to this subject. And one more thing, it may not surprise you to told that chimpanzees have uh, finger ridges like ours, which produce fingerprints. They are, after all, our nearest relatives, in the animal kingdom. According to the new research finding, human fingerprints are much more similar to the uh, those uh, found in koala bear. That we can see the different under the electron microscope uh, also. Evolutionary human uh, has undergone precisely the same path of ho uh, hominid ancestors and koalas. It may have evolved fingerprints because both used to climb trees in the same way. <laughs> Anatomist from uh, the University of Aldene in Australia explained that koalas feed uh, by climbing vertically on, uh, onto the smaller branches of uh, trees, reaching out, grasping handful of leaves and bringing them to the mouth. So fingerprints build up accordingly you can see here in this slide uh, for more details i have included uh, hence the origin of these papillary ridges is uh, greatly explained as a result of bio biochemical adaptation to grasping that produces multi tridirectional mechanism uh, mechanical influence on the skin these forces should be exactly felt for fine management of movement and static pressures that and thus need to orderly organization of the skin surface. Here you can see how uh, monkey prints <laughs> are taking. The cola. The cola has fingerprints that are so similar to human uh, fingerprint. We all know that now. 
So it is almost impossible to tell apart because of the pattern, shape and sizes and size of the ridges. Under the microscope also it is same. Now here in these slides you can see primate uh, handprints and human handprint as well. Some similarities are there. So these patterns studying are actually very complex and difficult, but uh, they are uh, telling a lot more in, uh, details about you. And here you can see a company called Intelligent Fingerprinting. This is another interesting thing, which is connecting, uh, connected to the University of East Anglia, uh, has developed a fingerprint-based drug test. The technology can detect the presence of number of illegal drugs, uh, including opiates, co cocaine, and cannabis from just one fingerprint sample. In forensic perspective, dermatographic observation also indicates the genetic possibility for addiction. This is a new trend actually. Uh, around the world, people are studying this subject. This is a new aspect of forensic science. Especially when the AB ridge count, here you can see in this picture, AB ridge count is higher than normal ridge then addictions come from hereditary. Actually, we can identify even uh, not only these drugs, even for medical drugs also, if someone is going to be addicted, then we can detect from these uh, counting. And another thing, removing your fingerprint is not an easy task actually. This is the most painful and scarring work, but when, when we study our forensic science history, uh, we can see some people have already tried uh, it for fingertips, not only full palm, just for only these uh, fingertips only because it is that much of painful. Uh, but uh, they are failed because not only these fingertips, we all have this part also, friction ridge. So we can identify from these parts also. So it is... Uh, it is wasting actually, but after doing this type of operation, what happened is full sense, our sensitivity is going. So it is very painful and you cannot do any work if you removed your fingertips. But naturally, but some people are born without fingerprints. So there are few few conditions here I included a few syndromes and few uh, some uh, medical reasons that uh, they are not having fingerprints. And sometimes it is give uh, so much of difficulties for them to holding, grasping things and uh, for sweating. These things are there. And here you can see uh, another conditions actually uh, that uh, fingerprint are losing or damaging some arthritis or rheumatism arthritis uh, patients also having this type of fingerprints uh, because if these type of fingerprints are there sometimes identification is difficult so I just uh, added for you uh, just uh, for your interest Here is another one, eczema, uh, eczema uh, situation, that, uh, that situation also you can see damaged fingerprints. And here one more thing I just forgot to say, this is the most interesting thing and worldwide uh, most of people studying this. When, when, you have, uh, when you have to face the chemotherapy drugs, that drugs can erase your fingerprints. But after you uh, stop the treatment, then again, fingerprints are developing. So this is, this is actually we can use for identifying the healing process of cancer. Another aspect of uh, studying this uh, dermatoglyphics. And also, I just want to pinpoint another thing. Uh, just, uh, I'm just uh, sharing.
here you can uh, see uh, article about uh, how to diagnose cancer at the uh, very first uh, stage uh, by studying this uh, friction ridge skin because now here you can see uh, friction ridge totally disappeared no patterns nothing you cannot find out anything just uh, we are called triple palms so here another pictures you can see this these all pictures are taken from cancer patients actually here one you can uh, see malformation or broken skin of ridges these things are happening when the cancer virus is inside the uh, body and we are just trying this is, is under process of uh, research actually you can see this type of changes and where these type of malformation or broken uh, ridges are there according to that we can identify the cancer actually here you can see on the ha hand uh, different different places if this type of malformation or losing fingerprint is present then we can identify the stage of the cancer so like that so this is a, a new trend about identifying cancer uh, through uh, friction ridge skin here you can see different different skin uh, type different different ridge changes according to the medical reason these uh, things we can discuss uh, in the third level or uh, third level of the, of the fingerprint identification also if we applied my microscope level into friction ridge skin you can see these type of changes from that we can identify the medical reason or medical ailments finally uh, here I have added a few prints. You just uh, wait a minute. Okay. Finally, I just uh, want to mention you that not only by analyzing or studying this dermatoglyphics, uh, we can say tiny lines or we can uh, say full palm and soles. Uh, we can study not only identification, we can study human behaviors, ailments, habits and lifelong difficulties other than identification. So in this field, there, is, uh, there are so much of, uh, to analyze and learn to conduct research. It is required. So I hope you all I enjoyed my uh, presentation and let's keep on communicating to study this subject further. Uh, and uh, I wish you all the best uh, for this uh, conference and have a safe and healthy life for you uh, all and your family members and your friends. Thank you.